Mark Scott, the reporting. So the polar vexus. <laughs> the polar vexus. The freezing, freezing weather has lifted, it looks like. Good for us, man. That was some crazy weather, right? Zero degrees. You go outside, your face cracks. <laughs> it's 35 right now in New York. Feels like summer. <laughs> ah, the bridge. So, nothing really special today. I just want to talk. Found a good quote. This is interesting. I was watching the um, uh, AOC, uh, Alessandro Ocasio Cortez, right? Making some waves in there in Congress, right? Shaking it up a little bit. And uh, Democrats don't like that. They don't like young people coming in and shaking shit up, right? And uh, so they're going to primary her. <laughs> they're going to send some, some hacks in there to disrupt her queen's run in 2020. That's classic, right? That's classic, right? The one person speaking up for the, for the young people, the progressives, you better, you guys, you know, you can't ignore them. That's where the quote comes in. Right? Check this out. If the youth are not initiated into the village, they will burn it down to feel its warmth. Ah, they sure will, won't they? You think they're going away? That little triangle chart I put up yesterday, right? Go take a look at it again in hindsight. And it tells about 42% of the country are not with the Democrats, are not with the Republicans. Right? And they rise up when given the chance. They're not, they don't, that's why the Democrats have no chance of, uh, no chance of seizing power. Executive power, executive branch. Right? I think the fundamental, the fundamental concern is birds. It's like a little, uh, a little inlet where the birds hang out. Almost like a little beach. Community, right? Community of birds. You got these kind of birds and that kind of birds. The birds of a feather, right? You got some seagulls, you got some ducks. Some big ass black, I don't know what's. <laughs> big birds. But is there a problem in this country? That's, I think that's the fundamental uh, concern because as I look out into the vast array of commentary, what I'm supposed to do, right, as a journalist, I see a division. I see people pitted against each other for various social reasons or economic reasons, and it's always one side blaming the other side. Both are impotent at the truth, which is taking out the taking out a corporate a corporate tyranny that's enslaving people. But it seems that. It doesn't. I, what I'm trying to say is that the the vast majority of political people in political parties, Democrat and Republican, I don't think see a problem at all because the Democrats don't. The Democratic side of the aisle doesn't seem to acknowledge that there is poverty in America. That half the country is living in abject poverty, and the other side of the aisle, <coughs> the mega make america great again crowd who support this president think that it they don't actually see a problem either they say big the deep state the deep state oh we're gonna get rid of the deep state but but they they never they, they seem to not place their finger on the actual problem the economic problem right is it an economic problem is what i'm trying to say yeah of course it is Half the country living in abject poverty, don't have four hundred dollars to their name, living on food stamps, bogged down in debt, trillions of dollars in student loans, right? Thirteen trillion in mortgage debt. Government pays, government will print money, and and, and debt itself, and without any consequence. But when you put, when you go into debt, that's when they come and collect, right? Government never pays on their debt, but you have to pay. 
and that's called revenue. That's a broken system of economics. Right? But there's no problem, right? Is there, that's, that's, what I'm trying to say is in France, right, as you, as you explore the yellow vests, you say, oh, well, there is a problem because people are rising up. But in our country, no one's rising up. They're not rising up. Where's the rise? Where's the rising up? Chatter on, on the internet? There is, no, there is no uprising in the United States. France, 70% 70, 70 of the people are united behind the idea of eliminating oligarchy in their country. 70%, they wear the simple yellow vest. They protest, they carry on. People say that they're not making any ground. <laughs> they're making so much ground, it's unbelievable. And watch when the weather breaks, watch when more and more come out. And watch when the water, water cannons are actually a, a welcome sight because it's hot. So I think that's the, what I'm trying to say is I, I don't seem to think, I think that, that if you want, I'm, I'm skating on ice right now. See this ice? Take a running start. Ah, here's where I fall down. <laughs> here's, where, here's where 50 year old people break their legs. Watch this. <laughs> that was fun. La 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 la. Woo! So, uh, econo ec economy, economics, right? There is no problem. Right? There's no problem in America. Because if there was a problem, people would protest, right? They would protest. They think they're protesting, right? Uh, shh, to plan. Or we're going to lock her up. We're going to lock her up and they're going to lock him up. <laughs> Everybody's going to get locked up and that's going to solve the problem. Uh, got three million people in jail already in this country. That's going to work. Some people got to get locked up, but it's not those people. It's the bankers and the, 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 the corporations that are stealing. Tax evaders. Uh, Running the show on the corporate media. Those guys. Got to take them out. But how do you do it? How do you do it if you're just fighting over, over identity politics? No message. No power. No ability to stand up for yourself. It's definitely a predicament, if you, if you ask me. So, uh, Maroon 5 at halftime today. you excited? As if, as if the, the, as if the establishment couldn't serve up enough shit sandwiches, they serve up the only reason like that I would watch the Super Bowl. Who gives a shit about? I don't know anything about football. I know, I know, so I could watch football and I know what's going on. But I have no interest in, in it other than the halftime show, which, is Maroon Five. It's a real shit. Fucking nobody. <laughs> I don't like them. Girl like you. There's a guy one fucking it's plays right into the identity politics, right? You got the you got the, the, the it's a woman's they're they're all about like women's lib. <laughs> the women's lib band. Long hair hippies. Fucking long hair. So she need need they all need to get a fucking haircut, those guys. Right? How dare them wear long hair. And say they mean and say they're radical. What's up, bird? Birds come right up to you, man. They think you got a treat. Oh, look at these guys. Ah, what's up, fellas? Fellas. So that's about it for me today. I'm just walking and talking. Got nothing really, nothing really exciting in the news. I covered all my my points. Beautiful day in New York, man. Marcus County reporting.